But for a starter, uh, what is a case math question, Julio? Since yeah. you're, you're the expert here, because we have some beginners watching us right now. Yeah, let's get them up to speed so that we're all speaking the same language. But basically, a case math question is one of those questions where the interviewer gives you the business contact, gives you uh, some data, sometimes a lot of data, oftentimes a table, and will ask you to calculate something specific using that data, but they won't tell you how. So let's say, for example, that the, they give you a question where the Olympic Games Committee for 2024, want, they'll give you a table and ask you to calculate, I don't know, how much money uh, the Olympic Games Committee can save if they use volunteers for activities X, Y, and Z. Or okay. something like that. Instead of regular employees. Yeah. Okay. And it's not that obvious because you have some cost with the volunteers as well, right? Exactly. And uh, there are activities that they will not do. And you've got to think of all that. But that's why there's a business context. Because it's not only a math problem, like a math test. Yeah. It's also a business problem that has context that you need to take into account. Yeah. I can give another example. Let's say you want to build a road and you have two types of materials that you can use i don't know asphalt and concrete mm -hmm. uh, what's the best one so it's a, a decision one is probably more expensive up front the other one has more maintenance i don't know if there's accidents a difference yeah. in accidents between them and then you have some costs associated with that uh, so that would be another example as you yeah. said it's not just uh, here are some numbers, do the math. Mm -hmm. You also have to think about the underlying problem, which could be a business problem, a public sector problem. Yeah. And, you know, what I think is interesting about what they are is that what they're not. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people have misconceptions about these. One that I see often is people think it's like fast mental math, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So you see beginner candidates, uh, even before they do their first case to practice, they go into these mental math apps and yeah. they try to do like what 64 times 17 really fast. And then they upgrade the difficulty. Now it's like what's 632 divided by 138. And they, they try to do these fast math exercises all yeah. day. And while that's an element of case math, like you need to do math, like arithmetic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes in your head is best. You can use paper for sure. You can't use calculator, uh, a calculator in most firms uh, for reasons that we'll probably uh, speak about later. But it's not the main point. Yeah. Like, yeah, they could hire a ten-year-old kid that wins those mental math uh, contests. Yeah. yeah, if if they wanted a human calculator, but that's not what they're looking for. And another misconception that I see often is people think it's all about business formulas. And this usually comes from people who don't have a big business background. They didn't go to business school. They didn't take finance classes in, in, in their undergrad studies. They may never have worked in, a, in, a, in the private sector. Uh, and they think that, oh, if, if only I knew the right business formulas, then I would, uh, then I would do well in these. So like, oh, in the, in the, I don't know, the road concrete versus asphalt example, like, oh, what's the ROI of these? And if they knew the ROI formula, they do well. Yeah. But the truth is it doesn't really help because it helps a bit, but it's not the point again. Like mm -hmm. you need to be able to think about maintenance and, uh, accidents and you know how long will the road take to to be built and yeah. permits or whatever whatever else yeah and that kind of creativity is never something that you need to have uh when you're doing math questions and tests and math tests and yeah stuff. exactly so like if you're in school and you have to calculate the roi you get like the exact inputs you need oh yeah. this is the interest rate and this is the uh, the returns, the dividends or whatever. And this is the in initial capital, right? So, yeah. and you, you get the exact inputs, you just do the math. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's complex math, right? If you're calculating, I don't know, the price of an option, it's like a huge equation that I don't, I've never understood. Uh, 
but you do get the inputs. Yeah. And in consulting math, in case math, it's the opposite. Like the the formulas are really simple, mm -hmm. like the overarching uh, abstract formulas, like break even, right? It's fixed cost divided by the margin per unit. Yeah. Right. But the, the problem is like, how do you get to those inputs? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Which is why a case interview is so different than any other math question.